In a mature and tranquil Milwaukee neighborhood, a garden grows just up the hill from the Providence Milwaukee Hospital. Until last spring, this fertile plot was a vacant lot. That's when the hospital's green team suggested that employees plant a garden here and give all of the produce to the needy. Giving food back to the community, to the underserved, that can't afford to buy fresh produce. You know, we try to make a healthy community, healthy patients. Mike Geller specializes in energy conservation projects and waste management, but this project is near and dear to his heart. He cleared the way for construction, obtaining permits, equipment, and seed money. I grew up on a farm. I have been gardening since I was probably old enough to walk. I remember gardening as a really little kid with my parents. They always had a huge garden growing up. That's Carmen Jacobson. She manages Providence Milwaukee's surgical services and is on the hospital's green team. She volunteered for the job of head gardener. We had people um, from all different departments, anything from nursing to housekeeping to physicians up here and involved. It was, it was a really great sense of community to bring the hospital together. Employee work parties laid the water lines, set the posts, built the beds, and spread sawdust. Here cutting spinach, environmental services manager Tina Seeley says you'll find no keep out signs in this garden. You don't care if critters come and have their share? Absolutely. They, it's all organic, so we don't have any chemicals to kill any of the bugs or any of the pests. We just kind of work around them. Tina brings her grandkids to work parties to weed and plant. A manager's son built that tool shed to earn his Eagle Scout badge. So what's next? Expansion plans would put a gazebo here. The visionaries believe it would attract volunteers like the garden attracts bees. Two nearby low-income service agencies received the garden's harvest, Hillside Manor and Esther's Pantry. Their clients prefer fresh produce to canned high-cost items with a longer shelf life. Uh, a lot of the agencies for the Oregon Food Bank are trying to be more healthy, um, so that requires produce as opposed to cans. With demand increasing, the garden is adding four new beds, fruit trees, more strawberry plants, and a grape arbor. Providence employees putting the land to use, practicing their stewardship of the earth. For Providence, I'm Mike Donahue.